Sadie Bell, you just gonna take a nap? Good dog. Yeah, I know you love kisses, but you got bad breath. Yes, you do. You got bad breath. Hey guys, Nathan with Duck River Honey here, and it is just after New Year's 2021, and I am just about to do my winter OAV treatment, so oxalic acid vapor. My hive should be close to broodless this time of year, and uh, it's in the low 50s today, but sunny. I've faced my hives to the south, so they get a lot of sun midday. So let's take a look at them real quick. I think it's funny how different hives are active on different days. Um, I don't know, it's, it's just neat. Like different genetics, some bees are more tolerant in cold weather, some don't wanna come out unless it's 60. Uh, some fly in the high 40s, I've seen that a few times. So what I'm gonna use today to do my OEV treatment is this. Uh, this is basically a homemade, but not homemade by me, oxalic acid vaporizer uh, this is a john o's easy vape and john olivier I'm, i don't know if i'm pronouncing that right or not i hope i am made this and uh, sort of an alternative a cheaper alternative to um, the more expensive vaporizers on the market i've been using a, a verox wand and really i mean it's a good piece of equipment it really is it's probably the best wand style vaporizer on the market but it has some limitations in cycle time and i'm hoping that this will speed up my treatments especially as my hive counts grow in the next year um, that cycle time is really going to become a bottleneck for me and so i invested in this to try to speed my operation up a bit i've got to do a couple things to get ready to treat the first i'm going to do is to empty the oil trays under the hive so i'll clean those out strain the oil put it back in that way i'll be able to monitor mite drop pretty easily and that'll give me a, an idea of what the infestation looks like um, the second thing i've got to do is drill holes in my hives <laughs> 
I'm gonna put a quarter inch hole in the bottom board, in the back bottom board of each hive, and uh, I'm using a brad point bit to do that. Hopefully you can see that. Brad points have a little point on them that helps you get started and they tend to not wander around as much as a conventional bit. Um, I think that'll work really well. I've got a lot of experience with these. So we'll get to it. I use a five gallon paint strainer bag to filter this oil. Cuts, cuts down on my oil costs a bit. And honestly, it just makes things really easy. A lot of hive beetles in here. Surprised there's that many this time of year. All right, now we'll just repeat that. After I dump all of the oil in there, simply just pull the strainer bag out. then refill. Time to put this right in the center of the spacer here. This will allow me to stick the OEV right in the back of the hive and never work it from the front. All right, now I'm ready to get the generator started, mask up, and treat. I don't need kisses. Thank you, though. Oh, boy. Ugh. So the way this works is you put pure oxalic acid. This is uh, from Florida Laboratories. It's the highest quality you can get. I'll link to this in the description so you can find it. Put two grams per hive, so that would be a double deep or a triple medium, in the cup. Turn this thing upside down once it gets up to operating temperature. Insert that into the hive, flip it up, and then it will vaporize the oxalic acid that shoots out into the hive and 20 or 30 seconds later you're done. So we'll see how this works. 
I've got a full face respirator. This is a 3M with acid gas vapor cartridges. Um, I invested in this for chainsaw milling. I've, I've found uses for it for other things, including beekeeping, which I did not expect. But this thing is really good. Um, oxalic acid vapor is very harmful to your lungs. You do not want to breathe this stuff. I'll make the puppy go far away before I start doing this. So the process looks like this. You uh, wait until it gets up to temperature, flip it upside down, pop the cap in, insert it into the hive, turn it upside down and tap on it while supporting the device. That tube is copper and it will bend if you put pressure on it. And while that's cooking, I'll go ahead and fill up another one. extended warranty yeah I bet you are <sighs> oh <boy. clears throat> all right so that went relatively well um, I got the oil trays cleaned out, new oil put in them, so I'll be able to monitor the mic drop. I'll come back and check that tomorrow or in two or three days. And uh, that, what that'll tell me is whether any specific hive has an infestation, really bad infestation. So it just, it's just a good check, and it's easy to do, a whole lot easier than a mic wash. With alcohol washes, you always have to stress over finding the queen and not getting the queen in your sample uh, with this you just look under the bottom of the hive and see how many mites are there if it, it's either a lot or it's not a lot you know uh, got the holes drilled i've got to plug those with golf tees which i brought with me that's the last thing i'll do but uh, the actual oav treatment went well that uh, device the easy vape works well i like it i like it better than the verox Honestly, I think the Verox is better built. Um, you know, this is kind of a homemade device and, and it looks it, but it works. And I'm not real big on looks. I'm, I worry more about function. Um, so I like it. Happy. Guys, I know the change in the video here is going to be jarring. Um, apologize for that. But I wanted to put in a three day mic drop check and it so happens that we woke up to snow this morning um so you're going to see a little snow footage thrown in just as uh i guess some spice of life or something Ha, 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 ha. 
off. They're so silly. Oh, get off my me. You're wet. You can see location where I've got my hives is here on a hilltop next to the river. And it is just a gorgeous, gorgeous place. All right, let's, so let's check the oil trays and see how many mites we've got. This was a Russian hybrid package. You can tell it's got a lot of mites. All these little red dots here are mites. There's quite a few in this hive. Though. They'll probably need a follow up. This is the package hive that had the mite bomb back in October. I would expect them to be pretty clean. And they're pretty clean, but still several mites in there. We'll contrast that with uh, one of these feral hives. This is a feral hive. Not too bad. Another feral hive. Again, not bad. Very few in this hive. This is a split that I did off of the Russian package hive, so again, they've got quite a few mites. It's a testament to genetics. I appreciate you guys watching. If you like the video, then uh, please give me a thumbs up. That helps, <laughs> that helps get it out to other people looking for bee videos. Um, are you gonna make out with me? Goodness. And while you're at it, subscribe and hit the notification bell. That'll give you a notification when I post new videos. So until next time, you're a good dog. You ready to get out? Good girl.